In London, England, there is a Super Bowl of sorts, but it has nothing to do with football. This huge London media event has to do with the sport of rowing, and two Chicago teenagers just travel there to watch it live. They are members of the Chicago Training Center, an inner-city rowing program we profiled last year. Christian Farr traveled with these up-and-coming rowers as they witnessed this major event. But just whenever you think about it, go back to your days on the rowing machine. A lot has happened since we first brought you the story of the Chicago Training Center nearly a year ago. We had a donor come by and help us out with a private family foundation grant, which was very helpful. We've gotten onto the Chicago River, so that's been a big change from before. And it helps the kids as opposed to going to Lincoln Park. And it's helped get the word out. So we've had some new kids showing up and showing interest. Montana Bush, the co-founder of the Inner City Rowing Program, decided to turn the program's good fortune into a chance for some of his students to have an experience they would never forget. He decided to take two of his students to London, England, so they could witness the annual Oxford-Cambridge boat race. And one of his newest funders would bankroll the trip. We have a lot of students, and I had to leave it open to everyone. So the first criteria was strictly based on attendance. Beyond that, we asked for an essay, asking what rowing has meant to them. And then through that, I gave those two pieces of information to the funder. And between the two of us, we decided who would be our representatives. Chicago Training Center High School junior Abigail Avila and freshman Argel Herrera made the cut. This was their chance to see a race that their own coach rode in during his days at Oxford. It's an opportunity of a lifetime, right? Especially for a minority. It's like not everybody gets chosen to go to London. Are you excited? I'm very excited. It's first time in England. And I would tag along to capture the experience. Our first stop would take place along the River Thames, at the site where the boat race would take place two days later. Abigail could not join us until the next day because she was taking part in a previously scheduled science fair. So Argel was the only one to get the chance to speak with two very important people taking part in the boat race. It might sound weird, but the workouts, the painful, the pain. I just yeah, yeah, well, you sound like a rower then. I think you the first was Sean Bowden head coach of the Oxford University Boat Club. He's been part of the boat race for nearly 20 years, even coached England's Olympic rowing team, and knows exactly what it takes to be a world-class rower. You need to be a good athlete, coordinated, skillful, good endurance. Um, but I think it mostly it's, it's, it's just the hard work. I think there, there's no getting around that. It's still, a, this is as big a deal as it gets in rowing. Argel's second piece of advice came from Olympian Colin Smith, the president of Oxford's Boat Club. Argel would not just learn from Colin's words, but also his life story. Colin grew up poor in South Africa and through hard work was able to become a rowing champion. To be successful in rowing, you definitely don't have to come from an elite background at all. You know, rowing at the end of the day is a, a power endurance sport and there's no way of getting around that. When you line up on the starting line, you know, the strongest, most well-prepared your know, fittest, most determined crew will win. Day two, we were off to Oxford, England, the home of Oxford University, where Montana rowed and graduated. Montana's former classmate, Hannah Thomas, was our guide. The new college is built on the old city wall, so if you go into the college, there's actually a portion of the old city wall, which we might be able to see through the gate. The early morning trip to Oxford gave Montana a chance to show Argel what he could achieve if he worked hard at rowing as well as his academics. And Argel would be working hard that afternoon when we headed back to London. We met up with the members of London Youth Rowing, CTC's English equivalent, but on a much larger scale. LYR's mission is to make the elite sport of rowing accessible to everyone. It has a reputation justifiably so in this country as an elitist sport, we're trying to reverse that, we're trying to make sure that, you know, it's good for the sport and it's good for the kids who have, you know, that are exposed to sport. Uh, it brings all sorts of things like discipline into their lives and structure and organisation. Before you do anything else, that's what happens. London youth rowing coach Ben Cox worked with Argel as he prepared to take part in a virtual internet rowing race between his teammates in Chicago and LYR rowers here in London. Whoa. With the help of Montana. Now shoot it up, shoot it up now, just like the end of a race. 
You got this. Just like that. Argel tried to pull out a win, but he came up just a little short. I was pretty nervous. <laughs> was it fun to race against uh... my own people? Yes, it was. <laughs> Argel chatted with his Chicago Training Center teammates online, along with Abigail, who arrived during the virtual rowing competition. The downtime ended quickly for Argel. He was back on a rowing machine competing again in a relay race, and his crew included some of the London youth rowers. So what was it like rowing with our gal? How does, how does he it was compare good. to? It's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, you're, you were yeah, really powerful. Really, yeah. I was impressed, yeah. I felt you're... a wind blowing from the back of the lot, so yeah. I had a good uh, opportunity to row with the London people, and I wanted to uh, show them that not only in London are there rowers, but also in Chicago. He's got plenty of raw potential, and he responded really well to coaching. I mean, immediately, he did very, very well. Uh, he's got a lot of natural strength. If he sticks at it, I'm sure he'll do very well. Day three in London was boat race day. Thousands lined the banks of the Thames for the start of a race which dates back to the mid-19th century. It's a four and a quarter mile race between student rowers from Oxford University and Cambridge University. Montana Argel and Abigail started the afternoon being interviewed by a local TV crew, but their attention soon shifted as they watched Oxford's team take to the water. Everyone quickly retreated to the nearby Thames Rowing Club to watch the start of the race. Once it was out of eye shot, we ran inside to watch the rest on TV. In the beginning, Cambridge had the lead, but eventually Oxford overtook them and won, beating Cambridge by just 12 seconds. For Montana, Argel, Abigail, and the rest of the CTC students, this trip isn't just about coming here to London and seeing the boat race. It's also about something else. I want them to be able to go back and talk to the other kids, talk to people that don't know anything about the sport in their community, say this is something that they can do. And uh, having this experience here, they can talk about what it's like in other places and that it's not a foreign thing. This is a life-changing experience, really. That's yeah. inspired me to continue rowing and seeing, seeing the people from Oxford and Cambridge competing. It's, I, I can't even say anything. I never thought that um, I would be here in London. I thought it was like, for me, for rowing, I always thought it was just going to be in Chicago, regular Chicago, just being there in the lake. So maybe one day you hope to uh, row for Oxford? Yeah, I hope to be there in the seat with everybody else. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Christian Farr. Both Argel and Abigail are continuing their rowing with the Chicago Training Center after the whirlwind trip to England. Abigail was recently contacted by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology to possibly row at the elite university. If you want to learn more about CTC and their efforts, visit our website at wttw.com slash Chicago Tonight.